Hey everybody, in this episode, we're going to make a two by four. So uh, I'm in my beginner folder. We're going to go to create and we're going to go to document. We're going to just title this a two by four and hit OK. As it's coming up, we've got to do some quick research. What are the dimensions of a two by four? So if I go to the Home Depot, hashtag no free ads, by the way, um, we can see what some different dimensions of some wood is. We can also see that wood comes in all different kinds from white wood to um, pine to all kinds of different things. So we are going to go with a two by four by 96 inches. All right. We also got to know the difference between nominal dimensions and actual dimensions, because when we buy a two by four, it is not actually two inches. It is also not actually four inches. Whenever you're buying a two by four, it is a half inch smaller. So anytime you buy something over one inch, it's actually a half inch smaller. So a two inch is one and a half inches and a four inch is three and a half inches. So they've been lying to you for your entire life. But also the 96 inches is the length of the board. So that is correct. Um, if you are buying a piece of wood that is a one by, it is three quarters of an inch. So there's a difference between actual dimensioning and no meal dimensioning. Um, when we buy two by fours, we are buying with the, um, no meal dimensions labeled on the, on the wood at the shop. Okay. So here we go. We are going to draw on the front view because the board's going to be laid out. If you pick the top view and build the board up, it's going to be standing. Um, you could also do the right view. I don't really mind. So I'm going to pick the front view. I'm going to pick the sketch button and I'm going to pick the down arrow and do center point on there. I'm going to grab that and not really paying attention to the dimensions quite yet because now I'm going to hit D for dimension. I'm going to click on the top there and the width of the board is a four inch board with um, no meal dimensions, but with actual dimensions, it is 3.5. So I'm going to type in 3.5 there and hit enter. I'm going to make sure that I am still on the dimension and I'm going to click on there and make that 1.5. So there is our two by four. So one and a half by three and a half. Now let's go ahead and green check box that, accept it and extrude it by clicking this extrude button right there. You can hit shift E, you need to click the, the uh, sketch that you just drew. And we're gonna go with 96 inches long and go ahead and click the green check mark. Um, you can zoom out so you can come over here and you can click this top corner with automatically zooms it. You could also go over here and hit isometric, which kind of just shifts it a little bit. Um, front view looks like this. Top view looks like this. All right, let's go back to isometric. Here we go. One last thing we want to do is I'm going to zoom out just a little bit by rolling the mouse. You can see I can do that by using the mouse button or I can come over here and I can kind of zoom in or out. Um, okay. All right. Oop. Let's click on that. Sorry, doing too much. Last thing I want to do is zoom out. I want to start on the top left of my screen and highlight everything. And I want to right click on there so I can go down to assign materials for part one and the material box pops up. I want to make sure I'm in the library and I'm gonna type in wood. So I can hit ash wood, which is a type of wood. You can see that the density of that is 0 0.024. Um, if I wanted to change that, and I'm gonna type in wood again and type in balsam, the density changes. So that is a very low dense um, wood. All right, I'm gonna green check box that off. And that's everything I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you how to make a two by four. I wanted to show you how to change materials and you're all done. Thank you so much for watching and make sure it's styled correctly in your beginner folder.